Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a hexagon based US map. It's actually a polygon based hex map. Why is that? A hexagon can be implemented either using a shape or use a polygon. Our option here will be using a polygon to create a hexagon. So we want to show you the methodology and we will build polygon based hex map for the United States. And I hope that you can use the same methodology to create a hex map for your own country or your own city. Let's get started. Actually, for creating this um, polygon based hexagon, we just need a single column of data with six rows because a hexagon will have six vertices and then we need to calculate their coordinate of those uh, six data points those six vertices and uh, here are the cosine for the coordinate and uh, these are the magnitude that's two over the square root of three x uh, and for y it will be a sine and with a magnitude of two to be easy and polygon and the pass. Voila, we got our hexagon. We'll use this hexagon to create a hex map and this will be the basic module for each state, for one state. The next step is we will use Matt Chambers hex map. So here, Matt, who is a Tableau Zen master, uh, that is the highest uh, distinction for a Tableau expert. And he created uh, this uh, grid with uh, 51 rows. So one row for each state plus DC. Here are the coordinate, the center of, uh, of each state. And then he picked a hexagon shape for every state. Voila. Here are the coordinates between coordinate for every state. Problem with this is it's kind of hard to resize. So when we resize them, uh, we see some gap uh, vertically, but we don't see the gap uh, horizontally. So they are together. Sometimes uh, this could be annoying to some people. Let's try to create a polygon based hex map. The original one was uh, proposed by another Tableau Zen master, Rodi Zakovich. And let's uh, go ahead. We're going to replace uh, each of hexagon with a polygon. We need to create a new data source and we need to create a six rows for each state. How to do that? We're going to union the same data set six times. Two, three, four, five. We've already added five times, union five times. There are six tables there. Each uh, have a different uh, table name. Okay. We will use this table name to create our vertex ID like that. Vertex. ID if right one equals three then zero else int n. So in this way we will create the vertex ID. So we can see table name and the vertex ID because we will need vertex ID to create the coordinate for those uh, vertices. Next, let's uh, copy those uh, coordinate here. And we need to add the relative position of each hexagon. It's going to be pretty easy. X plus uh, H, X, uh, and uh, x y plus h y now x average abbreviation let's make it polygon and we put the vertex id in the path voila we got it and we just need to set the end white so we see the edge very well you can see that 
You see, this is how it scales. Okay, so we don't really see those uh, gaps between the states. They are tightly knit. Now we need to label the state. And in Polygon, we cannot really label it. So we need to do it in U of Axis. Let's see them all. And get rid of uh, vertex ID. And change it to circle. And put the abbreviation. Center them. And uh, dual axis. Synchronize. Uncheck show header. Uncheck. There's a little white over there. So just need to get rid of the borders for the labels. So we got uh, this um, polygon based hex map. You can use it uh, to represent the United States. Okay, you can just uh, use the same methodology to create your own polygon based hex map. That's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.